everyone. Thanks for tuning into Sin's Workshop. I hope you are all having a wonderful day. All right, so today we're going to be reviewing The Cool Prince. Okay, so let me just start by saying my first introduction into Holly Black was the book thing. If you saw my YouTube review for that, you knew that I was unimpressed with that book. I did not like that book. That book bored me to death. I'm surprised I finished it. And gosh, that cover was great. And I own it. Oh, if it weren't in storage, I'd probably resell it. I was not impressed with that book. But you know, a lot of people online were just saying, you know, if you don't like that one, you'll like The Cruel Prince. But if you like Cruel Prince, if you don't like Cruel Prince, you'll like that one. So I'm like, okay, I didn't really like that one. Let me see Cruel Prince. Why is there so much hype behind this book? I get why. First of all, Jude is amazing. I freaking love her so much. She's such a badass and she is just so cool and clever. And the fact that she outsmarts everyone. I mean, she's a human and she grew up with the Fae. But the Fae thinks she's, oh, she's human. She's scum. You know, I got a lot of Midsummer Night Dream vibes from the Fae in this book. OMG. She is ruthless. She is conniving. She is brilliant. And I love her so much. She's amazing. She is the greatest. I will bow down to her all the time. So I get why there is a lot of hype in this book. I 100% get why there's so much hype. It deserves it for Jude alone. Then you have Cardan. These two have a true enemies to lover romance. So if you like enemies to lovers, this one is going to be for you. I mean, it's going to live up to that perfectly. It's just, they hate each other. They really hate each other. But man, that sexual tension between them is, whew, whew, it is steamy. It is steamy. Um, <laughs> I think what I also loved about this book was the complexity when it comes comes to the characterization. There is so much complexity with all of the characters, you know, from Madoc, her adopted father. He killed her parents in front of her. Um, and then took them all to the Fey world because his her mother was like I guess his wife, so they had a kid. But while he was doing, you know, red cab general fay things, she ran off. She faked her death, ran off with the the gardener, who's also human, and then they started a life together in the human world and then had children. So it's yeah, so he went, he got his his kid, he's like, No you're mine. She's like, No, I'm not. He kills her and her husband, who used to be his gardener, and takes all of the children to the Fey world. He's just like, you're mine now. You're all mine. And he raises them. He raises them. He doesn't neglect them. He takes them into his home. He raises them as if they're his own children. Not that it makes it better what he did. For sure not. But you're already getting a glimpse of the complexities that goes into these characterizations and who these characters are. He is very protective of Jude. He really is. He, you can tell he loves Jude, even though she's like not his at all. He loves Jude. But there's so much complexities that go into their dynamic, into the relationship between these characters. But it's so well done. It's so well done. I loved the complexities. No character is just black or white. Like some are. Some are vile. But for the most part, everyone is just a gray character. They are complex. I love when authors devote time to creating complex characters because it makes the plot richer. It makes the dynamics richer. It makes everything that unfolds so much better, intense. And again, I see why the book has so much hype. I totally understand it. It's so worth the hype. I can't wait to read The Wicked King and The Queen of Nothing. And then A Stolen Air and Prisoner of Stone. I, I'm just, I want to read this whole series now because this one book was so well done. And again, I read Book of Night and I was just like, uh, I don't think I ever want to read anything by this author again. I'll just, meh, meh, Book of Night, just give me her young adult and I will devour it and treasure it like I will my children. 
it was so well done. I honestly cannot stress that enough. Excellent novel. Highly recommend. Definitely worth the hype. So, on that note, thanks again for tuning in to Sin's Workshop. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with all your book-loving friends. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and as always, happy reading.